welcome welcome back to this channel please if you haven't subscribed to this channel go under the video press the red subscribe button to turn it into black and also press the thumbs up to like my video the more you like my video the more youtube promotes my video so don't forget to like my video press the thumbs up and also press the notification bell so that you will always be notified whenever I load a video without sending the video to you. Today we are looking at a very special Ghanaian song, African, uh, African song, uh, specifically Ghanaian song. And the title of the song is Titi Nyami Yebesumo, Ancient of Days Who Will Worship You. And we are playing using key F. We are playing in key F. And later I'll teach you how to play in key G and key C and other, but now we are playing in key F and we are playing using five chords. We are playing using five chords. So uh, let's come back to the keyboard as I take you through. I also have more of my design uh, t-shirts. I design t-shirts. I will leave a copy at the back of the video and my contact at the end of the video. And now I'm getting more outlet. There is, I, I now have one outlet in Asalam down on the Samora, uh, is it Samora Road or Samora Marshall Road or something at Asalam down heading to the Trust Towers. You see Handicraft. There is a shop there, a nice shop. You can get some of my t-shirt there. So let's come back as I take you through how to play Titinyame Yagasomo. Thank you. Welcome, welcome back to Easy Piano Lesson. Welcome back to Easy Piano Lesson. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, please go under the video and press the red subscribe button to turn it into black. Also, press the like button. They, it doesn't just make a little time to press the like button. Once you press the thumbs up, YouTube will promote my, uh, my lessons to more people. So please don't forget to press to like the video and press the thumbs up and also press the not notification bell so that whenever I load a video, you'll be notified even when I don't send a video to you. Um, um, today we are looking at Titinyame Yebesumo and we are using five chords. Um, let me take you through a brief explanation of the keyboard. A keyboard has um, 12 unique keys. Um, seven of them are white keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are white keys. These seven. When I come here, I'm starting, I'm repeating the same thing again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When I try to go further, it's the same white keys. Uh -huh. So, and the names of the white key is C, D, E, F. J A B. That's the alphabetical, uh, the alphabet of the white keys. C D E F G A and B. Okay. And we also have five unique black keys. Five unique black keys. And you see them uh, two unique black keys and three unique black keys. So when you put them together, it's five black keys five black keys so five black keys and for the black keys they have two names when they are moving from the left to the right we call them sharps but when they are from the right to the left they are flat let me give you a simple example this is C C C so this i'm moving to to the next distance so this is c sharp this is d this is d sharp okay but when i'm moving from here this is e this is e flat this is d this is d flat this is uh, f this is F sharp. This is G. This is G flat. 
so they have two names right? but that's just by the way so that you get to you understand how i want us to construct the the courts we are we need five courts but let's play the scale of f so that we'll appreciate or we'll be able to identify our surface so as i told you this is f this is f so if you watch closely what i just play you realize that in uh, key f all the keys are white keys with the exception of the fire so let me go through again whilst you you look you observe me very closely so fa is the only black key in the scale of key f which is a good thing for us that means there won't be too much complication in the lesson okay we say we will need uh, five chords the first chord that we will need is do this is the do do re so this is the do and this this is the do and these are the supporting keys do and the bass these are the do you either play with one finger or two fingers the do is the key before the three black keys is the key before the three black keys so the treble you play it like this and the bass you play it like this okay the next key that we will need is re re do re do re so this is how we play the re for the purpose of this lesson this this and this so this is how we play the re and for the bass you play only the root key only the root key either one or the two so this is how you play the re for the purpose of this lesson okay the next key that we will need is fa do re mi fa as i told you earlier on uh, fa is the only black key so this is how we play for the purpose of this lesson this is how we play the fa this this and this so the bass to you play either you play either one or the two so this is how you play the fa this is how we play the fa okay then the next uh, key that we need is me do re mi do re mi so this is me this is me so the the bass this is how you play your me this is me but for the treble for the purpose of this lesson we are going to move this this key is also here you can also play it this way but i want us to move this key here so we'll play the me like this we'll play the me like this and the bass after the bass is it will still be the same root keys this is the way we play the me and the last chord that we will need in this lesson is so this is so this is so so this is how you play the so the bass for the bass you play the root keys uh -huh. but for the purpose of this lesson i want us to move this key this is how we play the so but i want us to move this key to here so for the purpose of this lesson this is how we play our so the bass eh, the treble this is how we play it and the bass there will keep will repeat the same um the same uh this thing keys this is so this is so this one is also so but this one we say it's so in second inversion. 
this is uh, bottom finger this is top finger and this is the middle finger so this is what we call so in second inversion this is so in the root position when the bottom finger is playing the so we say it's in the root position but when it's playing it like this we say it's so second inversion okay so this is how you play the so okay how is the song going to move we are going to play do one beat then we'll go to far one beat then we come back to do three beats and go to far one beat that is the first part of the song it's as simple as that do one beat far one beat do three beat far one beat then the second part of the song do three beat me one beat far two beat re so do re so re one beat so one beat and do you finish with do two beats let me go over again do one beat far one beat do three beat far one beat that's the first portion the second portion do three beat me one beat far two beat re one beat so one beat and you end the song with do two beats so let's go let's try our first piece and how is the rhythm going to be the rhythm is going to be because this is a worship song is going to be in a form of a slow mo or in a ballad form it's not going to be like praises or worship where we say uh, uh, reggae beat or something this is ballad and uh, slow mo so let's try it do to do one beat as simple it's very simple let's let me go over again watch closely <laughs> and see oh uh, five four five four okay strings <laughs> It's as simple you can be changing the, this thing. Uh, this this my the beat that I like so. Oh, let, 
let me reduce the volume a bit. Thank you, thank you for tuning to my channel. Please keep on practicing, 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 and you'll get to you. This is very easy, easy piano. We make it easy for beginners. So, catch you in the next lesson. Bye.